Hello and welcome to today's reflection from Dust and Glory with Urban Abbey. I'm Dorinda. Before we leap into the reflection and reading for today, I'd like to invite you just to pause and to take a few moments to take a few deep breaths, to let go of the busy things on your mind and just to come into God's presence and be aware of him in you and around you. Let's be still together. Our theme today is Powers and Principalities, and the reading is taken from Ephesians 6. The verse we're really going to concentrate on is, For our struggles are not against blood and flesh, but against rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. But actually, I'd like to read you a bit more than that. And I'm going to read from the message translation. So verses 10 to 18 say, and that about wraps it up. God is strong and he wants you to be strong. So take everything the master has set out for you, well-made weapons of the best materials and put them to use so that you will be able to stand up to everything the devil throws your way. This is no weekend war that we'll walk away from and forget in a couple of hours. This is for keeps, a life or death fight to the finish against the devil and all his angels. Be prepared, you're up against far more than you can handle on your own. Take all the help you can get every weapon God has issued, so that when it's all over but the shouting, you'll still be on your feet. Truth, righteousness, peace, faith and salvation are more than just words. Learn how to apply them. You'll need them throughout your life. God's word is an indispensable weapon. In the same way, Prayer is essential in ongoing warfare. Pray hard and long. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Keep your eyes open. Keep each other's spirits up so that no one falls behind or drops out. So the ways of God's kingdom are not the ways of the world. And Jesus himself made that clear. In um, John 18, verse 36, he says, My kingdom is not of this world. The kingdom of God, that overarching framework in which Jesus understood his mission and in which we continue to view the work of the church, sets itself over against the kingdoms and powers and principalities who occupy this world in the present darkness. We are citizens of another kingdom, living in a land under occupation, and that demands a different approach. Jesus taught his disciples to operate in a way that subverted the powers and principalities of the world by giving them signposts, telling them stories about God's kingdom, and he left space for them to fail in pursuit of it. Um, on one occasion, I was um, reading this passage and I felt prompted to look at the story of David and Goliath. And I saw that, um, obviously, Saul gave David um, his armour and David put it on, but he couldn't really move in it. So he took it all off. He went as he was and he um, bent down when he got to the brook and he just picked up five stones. And then he went to meet Goliath and said to him, I come in the name of the Lord, the God of heaven's armies, who you defy. 
And we all know that he took a stone out, put it in his sling and killed Goliath. But it occurred to me on that occasion that the five stones, maybe the five stones were truth, righteousness, peace, faith, salvation. And if we don't feel like um, walking about in armour, maybe we just have a bag of these stones in our pocket and we learn which one we need to take out to face which particular attack. It's just an idea and you might like to ponder on it um, later in the day. But for now, the reflection encourages us to pause and have a moment of contemplation and to think about the powers in this world. Who has it? and how we perceive it, the power Jesus showed us in the Gospels. How do they differ? Let's draw our time together to a close now by saying the prayer for the week, which is, Lord, we thank you that you love your church, the body of Christ. Help us to be the sign of your love for the whole world. Amen.